He was one of the earliest designs submitted to Playmates by Ryan Brown, and the last one to get approved, becoming one of the most expensive figures of the line in the collector's market. Today, I will explore everything I could find about Scratch, the Craft Crook Cat. Scratch was the last action figure design created by Ryan Brown for the Playmates toy line. Unfortunately, because of the lack of interest in new mutant characters, Scratch was released in limited quantities compared to the averages of the line at the time. Ryan always wanted to do a cat burglar character, and came up with an idea for an animal team-up based loosely on the Owl and the Pussycat poem by Edward Lear. But of course, in his take, they were a cat burglar team. In this original drawing, the owl would have had flashlight eyes, and his companion would have been named the Cat Burglar, and he already looked pretty much like Scratch's other spin-off, Hello Cat. He came up with all sorts of ideas for Scratch, like having him in high-tech gear or a cat suit, but in the end, Playmates wanted him to have a striped prison uniform. He redrew him that way, and that was the final concept. The owl was replaced by a companion sidekick named Jailbird, designed by Dan Berger. Because of this, Ryan would split the royalties from that figure with Dan. Being one of Ryan's earliest ideas for the line, multiple rejections made it the last one to be made. The figure got so expensive in the aftermarket because, at the time, turtle variants were more popular than new characters, so they simply made less of him. There's also an unsupported rumor that this wave's molds were lost, but I couldn't find any evidence of that. In his book Red Plastic, Chris Fawcett theorized after seeing this photo of Scratch facing Mighty Bebop that perhaps Scratch was originally going to be part of the Sewer Heroes line that came out that same year, but we'll never know for sure. In the many designs from Anaglyph Studios, Scratch could have come out with a police dog chewing his leg. And one of these loot bags would have contained the type of garbage a cat might have fished out of a trash bin. The rough clay sculpt also had a closed mouth with no front teeth, and a shifty look that was later replicated for the Super 7 release. As I mentioned before, while Ryan waited for Scratch to be approved by Playmates, his cat burglar design became another character named Hollow Cat in 1991 for TMNT Adventures number 27. Hollow Cat was originally a cat named Pookie, who, along with a crow and an owl, was mutated by accident and then tried to zombify the entire population of a town in Massachusetts named Innsmouth. The uncanny trio almost appeared again in a 1993 special, but the story was never published. I will cover this trio in a separate video. Aside from the occasional homage, Scratch only appeared in video games, action figures, and board games. In 1992, Dan Berger and Ryan Brown wrote down a possible origin for Scratch, who, at the time, could have been named Scratch Post, Awesome McPossum, Possum McAwesome, Hairball Harry, Felonious Feline, Clawback, or Scratch Cat. In this sketch meant for Playmates toys, Berger suggested an action feature for the figure. By twisting his forearm, claws would retract. According to this document, Scratch was originally a spy named Freddy Five Fingers McAwesome, whom the Shredder hired to steal some plans from a power plant. The idea was to use these plans to create a better Technodrome. Freddy trained three cats to commit his robberies, giving a different meaning to the term cat burglar. Freddy was a triple agent. He already agreed to sell the plans to some other buyer, but in the end, he sold the plans back to the power plant owners. This infuriated the Shredder, who tipped off the police, and Freddy ended up behind bars. On his escape attempt, he was surprised by the Shredder, who then mutated him into a Catman. Freddy then started working for the Shredder. He would perform robberies for him long enough to convince him to turn him back into a human. However, at some point, possibly to coincide with the release of the figure, Ryan pitched a story for either Archie or the magazine. In the catacombs beneath a cathedral, Scratch was creating an army of mutants with his mutant manufacturing machine. His plan was to rule the New York City streets, but to do this, he needed to create a diversion for the turtles. So he sent his mutant rats to keep them busy while he kidnapped Splinter. In the end, the turtles would track Splinter back to Scratch's lair. The character would become Splinter's villain after that. After Scratch's escape, the mutated rats would have joined the Rat King's army. While this pitch made sense from the point of view of a cat, 
it completely forgot about the cat burglar aspect of Scratch. This makes me wonder if the proposed origin I talked about before also applied to his Archie story. Still, it would have been interesting to see Steve Murphy's take on this pitch. Now, let's dive into the character bio from Playmates Toys. Scratch was sentenced to nine life terms, and after busting out of jail nine times, he started working with the Foot Clan. Despite his funny looks, Scratch is the meanest street cat you'll ever meet. He was also known as the master of trickery. He would often escape from jail after offering them a piece of his criminal cake gun and shoot them. Together with Jailbird, they would rob banks and often team up with the Shredder. Among his weapons, he had his fish club that he can use to batter up the turtles, and no matter how the fight goes, he'll always land on his feet. Other very important details about this character. His favorite government employee was the dog catcher, and his favorite breakfast cereal was the mouse granola. Hey, these are the jokes, okay? To round up his accessories, Scratch comes with a loot bag and his sidekick, who came out unpainted. Fortunately, Jailbird was painted for the Super 7 release. Now, Cat Burglar and Jailbird are common idioms in many English-speaking cultures that were given a second meaning with this duo. A Jailbird is someone who often spends time in jail, just like a bird in a cage. But the term Cat Burglar didn't become popular until the early 20th century, as a criminal adept at entering and leaving places without being noticed and often targeting high-value items. The term was coined because of the stealth and dexterity usually associated with cats. The most popular earliest evidence of the term was in 1907, when the London Daily News ran a story about Arthur Edward Young, aged 23, who was known as the Cat Burglar. He operated in Streatham, London, and was skilled at climbing. The news crossed the ocean and was picked up by the Washington Post, helping the term spread. Cat burglars then became popular after the Big Depression in the 20s and 30s, but it is commonly assumed that the term existed way before the 20th century. So, now you know. Did you ever own a Scratch? Are you hunting for one? What did you think of the Super 7 release? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you in the sewers.